In a lush green meadow nestled at the foot of a misty mountain range lived a lovable wombat named Wally. Wally was no ordinary wombat. He had a heart full of curiosity and an insatiable wanderlust that set him apart from his fellow wombats. One sunny morning, as the birds sang a melodious tune, Wally decided that he was ready for a new adventure. He'd heard tales of a distant land called Whimsyville, a place where dreams came to life, and he was determined to find it. With his backpack filled with snacks and a worn-out map that he'd borrowed from a wise old owl, Wally set off on a journey into the unknown. As he trundled along the meadow's edge, he met a chatty bluebird named Benny, who was perched on a swaying sunflower. Benny, with a feathered hat that matched his vibrant plumage, was known as the best storyteller in the meadow. Where are you off to today, Wally? Benny asked. Wally's eyes twinkled with excitement. I'm on my way to Whimsyville, Benny. They say dreams come true there. Benny's wings fluttered with delight. Ah, Whimsyville, a land of endless enchantment. Would you like some company on your journey? I know the way. Wally gladly accepted Benny's offer, and together they ventured into the forest that led to Whimsyville. As they walked deeper into the woods, the trees seemed to grow taller and more magical, their trunks resembling candy canes and their leaves shimmering with the colours of the rainbow. Birds with jewel-like feathers sang in perfect harmony, creating a symphony of joy. Wally and Benny continued on their path, pausing to explore hidden groves and sparkling streams. Each moment was filled with wonder, as if the very air around them was infused with magic. After a few days of walking, they reached a quaint village with whimsical houses, each one more unique than the last. The houses were made of giant mushrooms, candy wrappers, and towering stacks of pancakes. The residents, known as Whimsies, greeted Wally and Benny with open arms. Wally marveled at the lively village and asked a friendly Whimsy named Willow, Can you show me the way to Whimsyville, where dreams come to life? Willow, with her pastel-coloured hair and a skirt made of wildflowers, smiled and said, Why, dear friends? You're already here. This village is Whimsyville, where imagination knows no bounds and dreams are woven into the very fabric of our existence. Wally and Benny's hearts swelled with joy. They had found the land of their dreams, where whimsy and wonder filled the air. The streets of Whimsyville were lined with shops selling laughter, parks where clouds formed into playful shapes, and houses made of laughter where giggles echoed like the sweetest melodies. As the day waned, the Whimsies invited Wally and Benny to join them in a grand celebration. They danced under the sparkling moon, where fireflies adorned the night sky like a thousand stars, and they feasted on delicious dishes that tasted like joy and wonder. Benny perched on Wally's shoulder and whispered, This is truly a place of dreams, Wally. How lucky we are to have found it. In the heart of Whimsyville stood a towering tree, known as the Tree of Dreams. It was said that if one made a heartfelt wish upon its branches, it would come true. Wally, with his eyes filled with dreams and a heart full of hope, approached the tree and made a wish. He wished for his fellow wombats back in the meadow to experience the same enchantment he had found. The next morning, as the sun painted the sky in shades of orange and pink, Wally and Benny decided it was time to return to their meadow. They bid farewell to their new friends in Whimsyville and embarked on their journey back home. As they crossed the meadow's edge, a gentle wind whispered secrets to Wally. It was a message from the Tree of Dreams. Wally's wish had been granted, and he knew that from that day forward, the meadow would be infused with the same whimsical magic he had discovered in Whimsyville. Wally and Benny returned to the meadow, where their fellow wombats awaited. They shared their tales of Whimsyville, and soon the meadow began to transform. Candy cane trees sprouted from the ground, flowers sang sweet melodies, and fireflies danced in vibrant swirls. The once ordinary meadow had become an extraordinary place, a living dream where imaginations ran wild. The magic of Whimsyville had left an indelible mark on Wally and Benny. 
They continued to explore the meadow, discovering new wonders and sharing their stories with the world. The meadow became known as the Whimsical Wombat's Wonderland, where dreams truly came to life. Wally's journey had shown him that the magic of dreams was not limited to a far-off land, but could be found within, waiting to be shared with the world. And so, the meadow became a place where imaginations soared, laughter was the currency of the day, and dreams were woven into the very fabric of existence, just as they were in Whimsyville. In the end, Wally had not only found the magic of dreams, but had also become a source of inspiration for others, a wombat who showed that with a curious heart, a sense of wonder, and the belief in dreams, anyone could turn the ordinary into the extraordinary.